So, scientists are trying to bring back the woolly mammoth, the dodo, and the Tasmanian tiger. No, this isn't the trailer for Jurassic Park 12. This is real life, and yes, it's getting weird. Turns out if you mix ancient DNA, elephant genes, and a sprinkle of mad scientist energy, you can create something very close to a mammoth. Colossal Biosciences, which by the way sounds like a villain's company, is editing elephant DNA to make a cold-resistant fuzzy giant that can live in Siberia and maybe help fight climate change. Because nothing says eco-warrior like a six-ton furry tank. And then there's the dodo. Extinct since the 1600s because humans thought it was tasty and didn't run very fast. Scientists at UC Santa Cruz are bringing it back, using its cousin the Nicobar Pigeon as the base model. So basically, we got the recipe now let's bake a bird. Oh, and Australia's trying to resurrect the thylacine, aka the Tasmanian tiger, which is actually a striped marsupial that looks like a dog, acts like a cat, and confuses everyone. It went extinct in the 1930s, but researchers want it back to help fix the ecosystem and maybe win back some national pride. But here's the thing. Just because we can bring species back, should we? What if these animals don't fit in anymore? What if they come back angry? What if the dodo plots revenge? Tell us in the comments. Would you bring back the mammoth? Or is this how every sci-fi movie starts? Smash that like button before the dodos take over, and subscribe for more science you didn't expect to be real.